now we will delve into how to use the data table widget of a classic add-on plugin first open the elementor editor and click on the space icon to add a new section or you can add it in your existing section and here you can choose your preferred layout and in the left sidebar click on this widget and search for the data table simply click on it to add it in your section and here you can see table shorting here you can enable or disable it uh, the next one is table search enable or disable it here and here you can change the search place loader content and the next one is table pagination you can enable or disable it the next option is rows per page here you can enter the number of rows you want let's give five rows and let's move to the style area and here you can change the background color of the table choose your preferred color and here you can change the font color of the table the next one is margin here you can enter outer space for the margin let's give 10 pixels each side the next one is padding here you can change inner space value for the table let's give 20 pixels the next option is table here you can change the inner space value for the table let's give 20 pixels each side the next one is border type here you can change the tables border let's choose solid and here you can enter the border width let's give 2 pixels each side the next one is border color choose your preferred border color here and the next option is alignment choose your preferred alignment here and the next option is row or even style this option for enable or disable table column sorting let's enable this option and here you can change odd rows bg color and the next one is odd row font color and the next one is even row bg color here you can choose a preferred color for even rows and also you can change the font color for even rows here and the next one is typography here you can change the font family and font style the next part is table row heading and here you can change the background color and next option is font color choose your preferred color here and the next option is row padding here you can enter your preferred value for inner space and the next option is alignment choose your preferred alignment here and the next one is typography here you can change the font family and font style for the table heading and the next one is table column heading here you can change the background color for the table column heading and here you can change the font color for the table column heading and next one is padding here you can enter the inner space value for the table column heading and the next one is alignment choose your preferred alignment here and the next option is typography here you can change the font family and font style for the table column heading now let's enter value to this table let's add title now and here you can add column titles and fill the table now
update it now and let's check it in the output here you can see the table and this option for search let's search anything and this is the table pagination